Israeli e-scooter manufacturer Inokim recently opened two locations in Manhattan, so I took the opportunity to head down and check out each of their new e-scooters individually. All of the models had been updated quite a bit from when I had last ridden them in 2018 in Israel. In this video, we're going to look over Inokim's light model and talk a little bit about my demo ride with it. This is Barry Attica, one of the partners in Inokim USA, talking about the company and what it offers. This is not a company that sells a scooter, a vacuum, a dishwasher, all in one. This is a company that focuses on scooters, focus on the quality of a scooter, focus on the, the R&D of the scooter. And, and the most important thing that we do that nobody else does is we giving uh, service. We have a full service facility here that uh, service the entire scooters from flat tires to uh, checking your batteries to make sure you, you maintenance. We have, we have a full system here that know exactly how many miles you ride. And, and, and I think this is the most important thing when you drive this type of scooters. With this scooter, you have a full visibility all year. You have us here in New York, 738 Broadway, and 164 Delancey. We also have another store that we're opening right now in, in, in California and uh, we're expanding very fast. So now we'll talk a little bit about my ride and we'll kind of go through the, some of the specs of the e-scooter while we're going along. The Inokim light model features a 350 watt brushless and gearless motor coupled with a 36 volt 10.4 amp hour lithium battery. On a full charge, which should take the better part of six hours, you'll likely see a range of 25 miles or 40 kilometers with this e-scooter. Like a lot of other electric scooters, this one features an LCD display that has a selection of three different gears or modes in it, basically something that might give you a different type of acceleration or a higher top end speed per each gear. I rode in gears two and three for this particular ride and I saw easily 15 miles an hour at the top end, which was advertised by the company. One thing that I found very interesting was that with the Inokim light, the 350 watt brushless motor that they use on this was very, very quiet when you're operating it. I was hoping to give everybody a bit of a sound sample of what this sounded like, but to be honest with you, the city noise was a lot louder than the e-scooter was on the camera audio. Coming in just barely over 30 pounds, or 13.7 kilograms, this is an e-scooter that's very, very easy to move, especially if you might have stairs in your apartment or in your office, uh, or you've got a period of your commute where you might have to carry your e-scooter, for instance, like a subway train or something. You shouldn't have to worry too much about the weight of this e-scooter. It was very easy for me to fold and pick up and carry around with me. Even for being such a lightweight e-scooter, this seems to haul a pretty good sized load. It's advertised as being able to carry about 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. Me personally, I'm about 185, maybe 190, and I didn't see any big issues with acceleration or top speed. In fact, it seemed to carry me pretty well. The light model rides on eight and a half inch pneumatic tires, which I thought was a really great idea. I'm seeing more and more e-scooters riding on solid tires and in the city that just doesn't work out. It's not comfortable. So with the Inokim having the eight and a half inch pneumatic tires, I thought was a really great idea. A big advantage of this e-scooter is that both of the brakes front and rear on this are drum brakes which if you've ever had to deal with maintenance between disc brakes and drum brakes, drum brakes are certainly easier to adjust to make sure that you're getting maybe the stopping power that you need while you're riding. In my personal opinion, the drum brakes might need to be adjusted a little bit more often than the disc brakes would, but I think that the ability to do that on the drum brakes is much easier and I think that there's more value in that over time. Let's take a quick moment and talk about this LCD display. All of the information that you need to see for your ride is very readable and easy to see in the daylight. Just to give you a quick overview on what's on the display, on the top left side is your miles per hour, your speed. On the top right side is the gear that you're in. Here I was riding in gear number two. Below that is the distance that you've got total on your e-scooter and below that is battery life. 
The plus and minus buttons on the top right and bottom right are for mode changes. These will give you higher top speeds or better acceleration as you're riding. Just one last little tidbit of information. The Inokeem Light model comes with a kickstand and is available in five colors. This includes black, white, teal, which is what I was riding here, lime green, and orange. To be honest with you, I thought that this would be an excellent machine for someone who has maybe a short to a medium commute, and especially for people who don't have a whole lot of obstacles or uneven terrain or anything in their way while they're riding. Although this rode really well for something with eight and a half inch tires, the lack of suspension in here would make this a little hard on someone who has uneven terrain or uneven pavement in their daily ride. But I think it would be an excellent idea to have one of these in the trunk of your car, or again, for a very short to a medium commute. It's a very comfortable e-scooter to ride, and the fact that it's so light and so portable makes it very easy for people who have commutes, especially maybe in a, a city atmosphere where they have to go upstairs or carry it uh, a portion of the way, like I said previously, maybe on a subway train. I didn't comment on this previously, but one thing that I really enjoyed about this scooter and a lot of the other Inokeem scooters is that they have a very visible front and rear light. And I think that anything that adds more visibility to you while you're riding is going to be helpful, especially in the city atmosphere. To be honest with you, I really enjoyed riding this around. It was an excellent machine, it's very well built, and I like the features that it has. In all honesty, for me, I think there was only one downside. It was good. It's just a little short for me in the handlebars because I'm tall, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a decently tall guy. I'm six feet, three inches tall. When I rode this, I felt like I had to reach down just a little bit low or maybe I should say too low for my own personal comfort while I was riding this. It didn't quite fit me as a tall rider. So, like the other Inokim employee said, Maybe another model like the Quick or the Ox would be a better choice for the taller riders. If you get a moment to yourself and you're going to be in New York, take some time out and go visit either one of the two Inokim locations in Manhattan and test ride a couple of the models for yourself. The guys in the shop were very kind and I felt like they only wanted to help me find what the best scooter was for my own needs. This is Ryan for eScoot News, and I hope we helped you find out a little bit more about Inokim's light model e-scooter. Want more content just like this? Like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.